Hey guys, welcome. So this is a lecture on TCS. Basically, we are going to discuss about the TCS placement process, the topics which are there in the TCS written round, the eligibility criteria, the year gap which can be there and how to apply for TCS, how to prepare for TCS, which all section are coming, how do they grade the interview. So any doubt which you might have on TCS recruitment process, we will cover here in the video. Apart from that, we'll have topic to topic discussion on all the sections which are there in the TCS, right? So road to TCS. So basically we at Prep Insta prepare you people for TCS. We have covered all the topics here. We have all the discussions which you need to have on TCS. And yeah, 90% of the students, 91% of the students who get placed in TCS, they prepare from Prep Insta, right? So now we start with the lecture. So I am Manish Agarwal and the rest of the information is written there about me. So I'll be taking the lecture for you here. Okay, so the basic important things which will be covered in the webinars are how to apply for TCS, the eligibility criteria, the TCS recruitment pattern, the most asked questions from all the sections, the interview grading scheme about TCS digital and the big surprise. So basically this video will cover all the doubts which you might have for TCS on campus, TCS off campus. TCS Ninja and TCS Digital. Right. So let's start with the lecture now. So the first important thing is how to apply for TCS Drive. So TCS conducts online and on campus and off campus both the drives. So for colleges which are which falls in the category of cream colleges, premium colleges and the grade A colleges, they visit the college and they conduct the on campus drive there. But for the college which they don't visit, they conduct off-campus drive named as TCS Ninja or TCS off-campus drive. So those are for the colleges which might fall in the first category as well as the second category wherein they are grade B, C, D colleges or any other colleges which are accredited by AICTE, right? So. To apply for TCS, you can go and visit their link there, careers.tcs.com, right? So for this year, the last date of application is 5th of November for 2018, right? So the last date to register is 2000, uh, 5th of November. Talking about the eligibility criteria. So for 2018, the 2018 passouts are eligible the salary being 3.5 LPA, the role being a trainee engineer, the job location can be any of the tier 1, 2, 3 cities in India, experience, no experience needed for that, right? And any more doubt you might have, you can reach out to prepinsta.com. So talking about 2018, they are conducting an off-campus drive, which is on 13th of November and the last date to apply is 5th of November. Please visit the site careers.tcs.com to apply for the same, right? So the eligibility criteria for BE, BTEC and ME, MTech branches. So these are all the branches which can apply for the TCS drive, whether it be Ninja or on campus or off campus. These are the branches which are eligible to apply for the drive, right? So apart from that, people from MCA or BSc, BCA, BCom, even they are eligible to apply for TCS and the eligibility criteria being they should have 60% throughout and they should be in a full time co course, not a part time one. They should not have a work experience of more than three years. They should not have any pending backlogs. They, though you might have a backlog, but you should have cleared it before you apply for TCS. And the most important thing is no gap of more than 24 months, right? No education gap of more than 24 months, which is two years, right? About the sections which they ask in the written round. 
so verbal ability quantitative aptitude which includes the logical section as well then comes the programming concepts and then the coding right so later point of time in the lecture we'll discuss about them one by one right so right now let's concentrate on the eligibility criteria so the second important thing is the job location so tcs has their office in almost all the tier 1 2 and 3 cities in india so if you get placed they might call you to join the office in any of the cities for the basic tcs the salary is around 3.5 lpa we'll also have a discussion on the tcs digital eligibility at a later point of time in the same video so please wait and watch it by the time please 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 hit the bell icon so that you keep on updated yourself regarding any off campus drive which is happening cause we will be creating more videos on the drives which are happening in india at any point of time right so what is the basic difference between tcs off campus and tcs on campus so tcs off campus means the tcs off campus drive or the tcs ninja right so for on campus they they visit the college individually they conduct the interview rounds and the online test both in the campus itself but for the off campus you need to apply for it individually they don't visit the college the written round that can be there in your same college but the interview for that they will call you at pool campuses or at the tcs offices right so now the most important thing is the tcs exam pattern so tcs has changed their exam pattern in 2018 june so we'll have a brief discussion on what all changes they did in the exam pattern right so the first one is the written test which includes the aptitude and the logical section so in that you have 20 questions and you get 40 minutes for that so out of those 20 questions 15 are the standard questions and 5 are the advanced questions so now talking about the standard ones so out of the 15 standard questions 11 to 12 questions will be a basic easy or mediocre one and the three might be a little on the tougher side right now the advanced one so the advanced questions are a non mcq type question there is no negative mark in that but it's very important for you to solve this question at least two to three out of them to give yourself a chance to get a call for tcs digital that we'll discuss in a minute or two right so the verbal section so initially tcs used to have email writing for their verbal part but now they have changed it to the closed test so closed test is nothing but fill in the blank type questions which can be any any section from the prepositions or tenses or adjectives or any basic english question they might ask there and it will be multiple choice type question with negative marking right the cmcq test Similar to the aptitude round, they have seven standard and three advanced questions in this CMCQ test out of the 10 questions which are there. Similar, there will be four to five easy questions and two tough questions in the standard one and the three advanced will be a little on the tough side. So about the advanced question, there is no MCQ. There will be fill in the blank type question with no negative marking, but the standard will be a multiple choice type question with negative marking. You get 20 minutes for the 10 question in the CMCQ test now the coding so initially tcs used to have command line programming for their coding round but now you can code in any of c c++ perl python and java i repeat c c++ perl python and java you can use any of these five languages to code in the tcs coding test there is one single question you get 20 minutes for it right so the next is the technical interview then the hr interview in some cases there might be a managerial round as well in between the technical and the hr interview we'll have a explained discussion on this at a later point of time in the same video right so tcs digital chance as i was talking about in the initial phase right so as i said there will be advanced question in the tcs exam so if you do good in the standard section as well as the advanced section and if you perform well in the interviews as well tcs will give you direct calls 
to appear for their interview for TCS Digital where the salary will be around 6 to 8 LPA. I repeat the salary for TCS Digital is 6 to 8 LPA and they call you for a direct interview if you perform well in the written test as well as the interviews, right? Okay, so now talking about the aptitude and the logical combined for TCS. So below are the topics which are there for the TCS aptitude section. Probability, permutation and combination, number systems and HCF and LCM, clocks and calendars, per percentages, time, speed and distance, series and progressions, work and time, ratio, proportion and averages, allegation and mixtures, arrangements and series, geometry, reasoning and equations. So, out of that, the topics from which they can ask the advanced question are mostly the permutation and combination, probability, geometry, equations and series and progression. So please prepare them very well, practice them as much as possible so that you can easily solve at least 17 to 18 questions in the aptitude round so that you, you clear the TCS as well as the TCS digital round, right? Okay, so here is a sample question which I have taken up here to clear, to show you how, how they ask the question and what sort, what sort of questions are asked in the exam, right? So the question goes like, two third of the balls in a bag are blue, the rest are pink. If 5 ninth of the blue balls and 7 eighth of the pink balls are defective, find the total number of balls in the bag. Given that the number of non-defective balls is 146. So this is a multiple choice question. There will be definitely negative marking for this cause there, this is a MCQ, right? So here comes the explanation to this. So let us assume that the total number of balls which we have is X, right? So if that is the case, so the blue balls will be 2x by 3 because we are given two third of the balls are blue, right? So we have 2x by 3 blue balls and the rest are pink. So x is the total number of balls minus times the blue balls will give us the pink ball. So we have x by 3 pink balls, right? So now the question says 5 ninth of the blue balls and 7 eighth of the pink balls are defective. So we can calculate the total number of defective balls from here, right? So 5, 9, 5 by 9 times 2x by 3 will be the total blue defective balls and x by 3 times 7 by 8 will be the total pink defective balls, right? So which gives us a total of 143x upon 216. So this is the total number of defective balls which we have in the bag, right? So if this is the total number of defective balls, so x minus this will give us the total non-defective balls in the bag. So which is nothing but 146. So equating this we get x as 432, right? So the answer being option number 3, right? Okay. So now talking about the closed test. So this is nothing but a simple fill in the blank type question. You will get multiple choice here. 10 questions. 10 minutes and very easy. You don't have to spend a lot of time in practicing this. This will be very easy and I hope 90% of you people will be able to score at least 90% in the verbal test, right? Okay, so there is a basic question here from the uh, verbal test. So this goes like there, there will be 10 fill in the blanks. The example which I've taken here has seven basically they will be having 10 fill in the blank type question with the same pattern right so please go through the question once i'm not going to explain this here right we have a lot of important things which can be discussed here in the video so i'm not wasting your time here just go through it once after the video right to give you an idea about how they ask the question in the verbal section right now talking about this CMCQ section, as I already said, there will be 20 questions, 40 minutes for it. Though command line programming is not there in the coding part of TCS, but still they will ask you question in the MCQ section from command line programming, right? So the important topics for the, the CMCQ sections are the C, 
लूप्स एरे कमांड लाइन प्रोग्रामिंग लाइब्रेरीज वेरिएबल एंड रजिस्टर्स फाइल हैंडलिंग दिस इज रिपीटेड राइट सो दीज आर ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट सेक्शन विच यू नीड टू प्रिपेयर फॉर दिस सी एम सी क्यू सेक्शन इन टी सी एस राइट अ वेरी बेसिक एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम द एग्जाम सो इट इट इज लाइक वी हैव इनिशियलाइज ए एज जीरो सो नाउ इफ ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो प्रिंट हाई एल्स प्रिंट हाउ आर यू एंड देन प्रिंट हेलो सो वट इज द आउटपुट फॉर दिस द आउटपुट इज गोइंग टू बी ऑप्शन नंबर फोर एज वी हैव नॉट यूज एनी स्पेस यर सो इट विल बी प्रिंटेड एज हाई एंड हेलो विदाउट अ स्पेस राइट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम सी एम सी क्यू सेक्शन वट इज द साइज ऑफ एन इंटीजर डेटा टाइप सो दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन द सिस्टम और द कंपाइलर राइट सो द ऑप्शन इज सी ओके क्लियर नाउ द कोडिंग टेस्ट सो इनिशियली एज आई सेड द कोडिंग टेस्ट यूज टू हैव अराउंड द कमांड लाइन प्रोग्रामिंग बट नाउ दे यूज C, C++, प्लस प्लस पर्ल जावा और पाइथन यू कैन कोड इन एनी ऑफ दिस फाइव लैंग्वेजेस यू डोंट हैव टू यूज कमांड लाइन प्रोग्रामिंग राइट यू गेट टेन अटेम्प्ट टू कंपाइल द प्रोग्राम राइट यू गेट ट्वेंटी मिनट्स यू हैव टेन अटेम्प्ट टू कंपाइल इट राइट द कोडिंग प्लेटफॉर्म इज डिवाइडेड इन टू 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 वन इज फॉर राइटिंग द कोड एंड द अदर इज फॉर आउटपुट राइट वी शुड राइट द होल प्रोग्राम देर एग्जाम्पल्स The question which can be asked in the coding section can be from the following topic. These are just examples, so you can get an idea on what sort of questions they might ask. Convert a decimal to octal, palindrome, Armstrong number, or number series pattern printing. Right? These are the important examples which they might ask in the exam. Right? So now let's talk about the interview. Right? So. Yeah, people always have doubts saying we are from mechanical branch, we are not good at coding. So, what sort of questions are they going to ask us in the interview, right? Though the written round being the same, the interview will be different for a CSIT guy and a non-CSIT guy. So, for CSIT people, if you have mentioned any language in your resume, they will definitely ask you questions from that. So, please be very sure that whatever you mention in your resume, you have a basic knowledge on all the languages mentioned there. right so <clears throat> they'll ask you question from c oops software engineering dsa questions on dbms computer networks operating systems and questions like that right apart from that they will definitely ask you questions from your final year project they might ask you algorithm from your final year project why did you do the project what is the outcoming of the proce- project what shortcomings you found in your projects all those questions right now talking about the no non csit people very important so for non csit if you mention any language in your resume they will definitely ask you question from that and even if you don't mention any language they might ask you a bit of c and c programming and a little bit of algorithms right so they'll may mostly concentrate on the algorithm for a non csit guy right they will they definitely talk about your final year project they can ask you anything from the circuit diagram or the you know figures which you have drawn there the formulas which you have used their definitions from your final year project right so please 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 go through your final year project very clearly so that you know you should not miss any question which they ask you in the interview apart from that for a non csit guy the interviewer might also ask you about your favorite subject and then ask you a couple of questions from there right so in the technical interview which happens for around 30 to 40 minutes depend on your performance so they will ask you basic command on your procedural language they will see your command on the object oriented language they'll see your command on the general branch specific knowledge and the most important is the verbal communication do not think that if you are giving the technical interview there they, they won't judge your verbal communication abilities cause they are hiring you for a it profile it's very important for you to have a good verbal communication skill right so 
After this, they will grade you between A, B, C, D, E, and F, considering your performance in the technical round, right? So once you clear the technical round, there may be or may not be a managerial round, right? That depends. So in the managerial round, they'll see your time management skills, they'll see your confidence, they'll see how outgoing and friendly you are, and the most important is a team player and collaborative skill which you have, right? So as in a company like TCS, you always have to work in a team in a project. So a team player is a must to hire you in a company like TCS, right? So please show them your skills that how good you are at team building and how good a team player you are, how good you are at time management skills because in projects you have very small short times and you might have to complete a lot of things. So you might have to extend your work you might have to work on weekends so they might shoot you questions from that so please be prepared for that right now the human resource round the hr round that will definitely be there once you clear the technical round so in that the most important question they have is about your relocation willingness never say that you are not ready to relocate cause in companies like tcs there is 50% chance that you get a city which you don't want to join, right? So please never say no to this. Say yes, you are ready to join any of the location they provide you or else they might reject you, right? Culture fit with TCS, knowledge about TCS, very important. Work ethics, the dress code, positive attitude and motivation, right? So these are all sort of things which they might consider while taking your HR interview, right? And talking about the dress code, please be very sure that you go for the interview in very formal dress, in well-polished leather shoes, right? No jeans, no t-shirt, right? That gives a negative impression if you wear a t-shirt or something like that. Because for companies like TCS, you need to wear formals, right? So, the project-based questions. Very important, I'll have a discussion on this again now. Please go through your final year project very carefully. Do not miss anything on your project, especially if you have drawn a diagram there, an algorithm there, or any formula which you have used there. The interviewer will definitely shoot a question or a couple of them on you from your final year project. Right? So, What type of HR questions can be asked to you in the interview, HR interview? What are your future goals? Are you preparing for MBA? Yes. So never say no, never say yes that you are preparing for MBA exams. Because if a company is hiring you, they invest in you for at least a year. So if they get a why that you might leave the company in the first year of joining or at a later point of time, they might not consider you because they have a lot of options, right? So please do not say you are preparing for MBA exam. Are you a team player? Yes. So definitely show your trick saying that you are a good team player, right? Why should we hire you for the job? Very important question. Please have a good answer for this prepared before going for the HR interview. How do you expect the mechanical engineering graduate can learn and work in a software company? So. In software companies like TCS, they, they train you for at least three to four months in your initial phase of joining. So say them you are a very good learner and you can learn anything which is taught to you and that is how you can help in the uh, company, right? And the most important thing for TCS is they work a lot on the IoT, Internet of Things. So please help say them that being a mechanical engineer guy, you can definitely work on the internet of things section please have a brief idea on the internet of things before going to the interview that will give you an upper edge right are you ready to relocate yes definitely your answer should be yes never say no that you are not ready to relocate and this is the city which you want to work on they might not consider you how do you feel about working on weekends and night shift Never say that you are not ready to work on a weekend or on a night shift. 
because in service based companies you definitely have to work sometimes on a night shift or weekend as well though you get paid but it is a must that you need to come and work right so guys talking about prep insta now so we are the number one and the most visited website in the country right now and the nearest competitor which we have does not even have 40% of the traffic which we have on the website right 90% 95% of the students who joined prep insta for infosys they got placed in infosys 91% of the people play got placed in tcs and around we have around 11000 people who prepared from prep insta who scored 99 percentile in amcat exam right so we are the most trusted company for placement preparations in india at the moment right prep insta success ratio so 91% of the students who prepare from prep insta they definitely get placed so people who got placed in tcs last year 53% of them joined prep insta and they got placed right so before the big surprise guys we have one more thing for you so while solving questions on geometry it always takes you a lot of time right 2 to 3 minutes cause you are not aware of the short tricks and the formulas which you can use while solving a geometry questions so here we have a basic pdf on geometry where we have included all the important short tricks and formulas which will you know make you solve the question in at least 30 to 40 seconds at max which which might have taken you 3 to 4 minutes right so this is a pdf and we have already shared the link for this pdf in our description there is a bitly link available to download this pdf so please go through this once before preparing for tcs this will definitely help you out because there will be definitely a couple of questions wherein you might use this formulas and the short tricks and this will help you solve them in a very less time right so talking about the big surprise so we have posted the link for our online classes we have online classes for tcs preparation tcs on campus off campus or tcs ninja preparation so please find the link for the same in the description of the video and the big surprise which we have for people watching the video is the links which we have posted there if you go through that link you get a discount of 1000 rupees on joining the course a discount of 1000 rupees on joining the course about the course you get all the paid materials which are on the website for free you get lectures from the most experienced persons in the placement field right and the mock test for tcs and apart from that if you don't find the classes interesting or if you feel like refunding the money you can ask for a refund and we have a zero question asked 100% refund policy at prep insta right as we are the most trusted organization in the country at the moment and as i said the the nearest competitor which we have in the market doesn't even have 40% of the traffic which we have right so do visit the links man and if you find them interesting please join the course they will definitely ease out your placement process for tcs we have a discount coupon of rupees 1000 so once you click the link which we have shared in the description the discount will be auto added right so for any any other doubt please 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 visit prepinsta.com or join the facebook and whatsapp group which for which we have shared the link in the description so for all the on campus and off campus updates we have standard groups prep insta groups which we can join though the settings have been done so that you can't message on the whatsapp group that is cause we don't want people to spam there and have discussions there we want you to see all the important updates which we share on the group right we will be sharing all the off campus drives happening in india there will share the join link and the register link there so please 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 make sure that you join the whatsapp group on prep insta so that you keep yourself updated on all the processes or all the off campus drive which is happening in the country 
Apart from this, guys, please, please, please subscribe our channel. Please hit the bell icon there so that you keep yourself updated on all the drives which is happening in the coming time. We keep on uploading videos like this regarding all the processes, all the classes which might be there on AmCat or Vipro or any other company, right? So please subscribe it so that you get notification when we update a new video there with a new off-campus drive which might be happening or anything on a placement preparation, right? So apart from this, if you have any question on this video or any question related to your placement, please drop a comment in the comment box. Our team will definitely answer all your questions, right? Apart from this, the links which I've shared there, they also have the phone numbers there to help you out. You can call them or you can drop a WhatsApp message. Our team will definitely handle the doubts here. This is Manish Agarwal here taking the video for you. And yes, I'll definitely reply to all your questions personally on the video. So please comment your doubts in the videos in the comment section in there and please, please, please subscribe the video so that you keep yourself updated, right? Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you guys.